Hello everyone and welcome to the class of business studies. Uh, today we will start with um, uh, small business that is chapter 8 uh, and these are the contents which we are going to finish. Uh, concept of entrepreneurship, characteristics of it, process of entrepreneurship, small business, its meaning and role and some government assistance. Start, uh, starting with entrepreneurship, when we talk about entrepreneurship is the process of setting up one's own business as distinct that means different from pursuing the any other economic activity be it employment practicing some profession that means employment and profession is different from entrepreneurship when you are having your own business uh, investment is done by you only so the person who set up his own business is called an entrepreneur and the output or production which is in which he is engaged in and that is the process that is the business unit is called as an enterprise it is an interesting to note that entrepreneurship besides providing uh, self-employment that means entrepreneur is a person who is providing uh, himself an employment uh, that is he is self-employed uh, and giving job and giving employment to many other people and responsible to a great extent for creation and expansion of employment opportunities for the other. That means uh, he is engaged in two kinds of economic activities. Uh, he is giving job or employment to himself and providing employment to many other unemployed people or who are in uh, uh, seeking of job or job seekers. Characteristics of an entrepreneur are uh, first is systematic and purposeful activity, legitimate activity. That means this kind of uh, process of entrepreneurship is a very systematic and well planned activity and all on the basis of certain purpose or aim. Uh, le legitimate means it is a legal activity involve creativity that means when a person is engaged uh, in self employment giving employment to himself or starting his own venture or business uh, it is very creative that means he must be very creative and personal skill and specialization is required in this uh, bringing together every and it is bringing together every aspect of production of goods and services and he is a sole risk bearer an entrepreneur is a sole risk bearer process of entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship is the process of setting up your own business in a way that is different from others. That means when a person is setting his own business which is different from other business. It is a legal activity which is combined with uh, some innovation that is new ideas and systematic planning. It is the essence that is very important of uh, delivering value to customers. That means he is engaged in fulfilling all the uh, needs and wants of the customers. So, he is providing all value to their customers and the entrepreneur is the sole risk bearer. That means he is investing all the money in the business, he is the, there for the ownership, control and management. So, if there is any risk, so he is the sole bearer of that risk. Proper knowledge of the business which is required by him, that means he must be professional, he must be uh, well averse in his uh, uh, activities which he is engaged in and he must have perfect knowledge about the all the marketing activities and uh, the this kind of business is a vital element for any entrepreneur. Business for entrepreneurs may differ according to their uh, needs. For some a business may be defined as a sole proprietorship but for some it can be in the form of Hindu undivided family, joint stock company, partnership and so on. Now meaning of this small business as we uh, the the whole chapter is about small business and entrepreneurship. So, entrepreneurship part which we did completed. Now, starting with meaning of small business, a business which operates as the name suggests, a business which operates on a small scale can be called as a small business in terms of uh, less capital, less labor and less machine is called small business. The goods are produced or produces on small scale here. The small scale means less quantity uh, of goods and services which are produced here in small scale. The business is operated and managed by the owner of the business. In India, the village and small industry sector consist of both traditional handloom, handicraft, cottage industries, khadi and village industries. These all are actually uh, part of a small business or kind of small business. Uh, according to micro, small and medium enterprises development act 2006, a small scale enterprises defined as one where the investment in plant and machinery is uh, not more than or is more than 25 lakhs but does not exceed or increase 5 crores that is between 25 lakhs to 5 crores of investment according to this act can be considered as small business or small enterprises. 
the num uh, there are certain conditions which are there in small enterprises or uh, for the size of business the number of persons who are employed in business capital how much is invested then we can decide that it is of small scale business or large scale business the volume or quantity of production and the power which is consumed by the uh, business houses the definition which is used according to the msmeda act uh, of india to describe small industry is based on uh, certain uh, differentiation in terms of the categories manufacturing unit and service provider the first basis of difference is micro enterprises so um, manufacturing unit if we say those who are called micro enterprises whose investment is less than rupees 25 lakhs in terms of service industry or tertiary industry the investment must be less than 10 lakhs uh, in terms of small enterprises the manufacturing units it is between 25 lakhs to 5 crores investment must be there in terms of service provider it is between rupees 10 lakh to 2 crores and if it is a medium scale enterprises in manufacturing unit it the investment must be between 5 crores to 10 crores in service industries it must be between 2 crores to 5 crores now role of small business in uh, rural india uh, first it is there to generate employment that is because of small businesses in india in rural areas it is providing employment to various uh, unemployed people in rural areas or villages so cottage and rural industry provides employment opportunities in the rural area as these are labor oriented area that means in this rural areas many uh, unemployed people who are basically of uh, uh, labor uh, kind people uh, in indian uh, rural areas ample that means adequate enough labor is available there so which can be utilized through this cottage and rural industry second improve economic condition small business provide uh, multiple source of income to the uh, rural uh, people or household so these ssi improves economic condition and standard of living of those weaker section of the society who are living in rural areas who are unemployed when they are getting employment their standard of living is increased prevent migration that means um, all those people who are migrating from rural area to villages uh, in search of better job opportunities or migration of rural people to urban areas will be stopped because of uh, establishment of this small scale industries in these rural area so that they can also get uh, job in uh, living in their area only they will not migrate to urban areas fourth is utilization of local resources uh, all those resources which are available natural resources which are available in rural areas can be uh, utilized properly like coal wood and other such products fifth is equitable distribution of rational income small scale industries and cottage industries ensure uh, equal distribution of national income and this helps to reduce the gap between rich and poor in the country sixth is balanced regional development because of establishment of these uh, industries in rural areas uh, the differences between rich and poor or differences between various region in terms of uh, development can be uh, reduced now problem of small scale industries the first is finance as we can see that this is also one of the problem problems or drawback of small scale industry that they are having scarcity of funds that is uh, non availability of sufficient or adequate funds which is required by these ssi are not provided to them in order to carry out a uh, successful business operation uh, which is an important so this is an important problem which is faced by all ssis uh, industries banks sit at to grant financial help to these units uh, second is raw material and power so, so these small scale units are unable to buy raw materials why because of scarcity of funds uh, money is not available to them in bulk due to lack of funds and storage facilities uh, shortage of power is also another factor uh, which is one of the hurdle uh, to this um, uh, small scale industries which leads to under utilization of plant and uh, plant capacity uh, third is marketing small scale units generally face the uh, non functioning of marketing activities and face difficulties in marketing of their product and services as they are hardly having any funds for advertisements or for sales promotion that means they are not having funds for the purpose of advertisement or sales promotion they depend on intermediaries who exploit them and they always depend on their intermediaries or brokers who uh, exploit them 
Fourth is technology. Majority of small scale industries are using labor intensive technique in uh, terms of uh, instead of capital intensive techniques and using old outdated technology or old techniques of production because they cannot afford new techniques or upgraded uh, technology and equipments and these equipments which are necessary for modernizing the product but it is not available to them and as a result their cost of production increases. Uh, fifth is competition. So, these small scale firms face many competition not only from uh, large industries but also from multinational companies. Uh, other such problems are lack of managerial efficiencies, lack of demand of these produced goods, uh, labor problems, burden of local taxes and poor product quality. Now next topic is Startup India. So the Startup India campaign which was officially announced in 2015 uh, and it is just for the purpose is just to encourage or motivate the budding entrepreneurs or new entrepreneurs for the with the best idea to come forward. So it was a major steps uh, towards leveraging successful that means just to motivate successful uh, entrepreneurs uh, doing their business with small ideas. So such great talents uh, were given financial support for setting up this new business that is the concept of uh, small business enterprises and also to be a better contribution for the nation's growth. So the, this project aims at creating awareness on the benefits of uh, small business or businesses for entrepreneur uh, render supports to the weaker section. These small business entrepreneurs are actually engaged in providing uh, great help to weaker section of the societies of rural areas in terms of generating employment in terms of supply of better quality products. Uh, so small business and entrepreneurship if we see one uh, topic is there that is intellectual property rights. It is necessary to ensure that these small enterprises has, have obtained the intellectual property rights over uh, their business plan or idea. This IPR uh, or in intellectual property right comes in two different categories. The first is about industrial design, geographical location, indications and invention while the other categorization includes IPR uh, on different forms of artistic work. So let us have a um, detailed look out of them. The first is uh, copyright among them. Uh, prohibish, copyright is prohibition of unauthorized use of artistic, literary, talent and dramatic work. Second is trademark which is provided to such enterprises. It is in order to protect the unique identity of brand against the various competitors um, offering similar duplicate or deceptive or fake products in the market. Geographical indication means to denote the products that they have a specific, they are belonging to a specific geographical area or origin. Patent right which is provided in order to protect them by government on inventions or already existing ideologies in terms of sales or import or manufacturing of product. There are certain government help or assistance to small scale industry and small business unit. The first support which is provided to them is institutional support. In institutional support we have one term that is national small industry corporation uh, which is there uh, for the terms of uh, providing institutional support. This uh, small national small industries corporation was set up in 1955 to promote, to help and to foster that means to encourage to increase the growth of small scale units in India. The main problems which is faced by entrepreneurs is shortage of funds to purchase machinery and equipment. So that means these uh, particular enterprises have shortage of funds in terms of uh, uh, purchase of machinery and equipments, non-availability of finance which deprives or lacks many new entrepreneurs from involving in the opportunities uh, of NSIC. Uh, second is district industry center. This concept came during 1977 when government of India announced the new industrial policy on 23rd December 1977. The main objective is to make available all kind of necessary services to the small scale industry at one place. The finance for setting up this industry or uh, this uh, uh, center in a state are contributed equally by central government and state government. Uh, second uh, is government incentive for industries in hilly, backward and rural areas. So the first thing which they need to provide them is power that is uh, supply of adequate electricity, tax concession in terms of exemption from payment of 50% tax to these uh, entre uh, entrepreneurs who are uh, giving their work or services in rural areas, land and water facilities which must be provided at concessional rate. 
octroi tax that is most of the state, uh, states have abolished this octroi tax marketing help or assistance government tries to solve their marketing problems uh, problems of these small scale industries by improving information or providing information and in order to provide guarantee for the sale of their products and finance of course uh, finance facility or financial help is provided to such kind of small scale uh, unit so thank you student this is all about today's video we will meet again in the next video thank you